What useless skill do you absolutely dominate? Pogo stick. I used to use it as a mode of transportation when I was a kid. Meaning I would hop all around my neighborhood at a whopping zero. Two miles an hour feeling like peeping beast. I can run really fast on my hands and feet. It has never come in handy. Okay. Say you're walking home late at night and you cut through an alley. You see someone coming the other way acting like they are about to mug you. Run at them on all forceful speed while shrieking incoherently. Boom. Problem solved. Behind you. It's Sheila Biaf. Actual cannibal Sheila Biaf. Normal Tuesday night for Sheila Biaf. Programming names into bowling lane consoles. Op said useless not indispensable. Remembering phone numbers. It was far more impressive before smartphones. Not so useful nowadays. I'm still undefeated in the game where you have to say an animal that starts with the last letter from the animal the other player said. You keep doing that till someone gives up because he doesn't know more animals and you're not allowed to use an animal previously used. Nobody beats me at this speep. Eagle. 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 Whistling to get my dog's attention. If there are other dogs within two blocks, I get their attention too. I can do the same thing, but with cats and it's not a whistle but a screech. Our cats headbutt me until I stop. When passing out papers to a group of people, I can flick the paper in a straight line up to six feet. It amazes kids. It's also really fun to hit them in the head with a sheet of paper. Can you make a YouTube tutorial? Especially the bunk part. Go NK. Gunk. Tongue twisters. Can't talk for speep normally. But I can say all the crazy speep. Same. I call people by the wrong name. Say the wrong word all the time. It's enough that if anyone corrects me, I just say same difference and move on. But Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? I got that in the bag. Peter's pecker picked another. Pickle bearing pussy pepper. UPD. Ah. I see you're a man of culture as well. WHHYY. I can do impersonations very well. That's why I'm unemployed. Why should we hire you? W hi show you LD we hi re yo you. If you are trying to fool somebody on the phone, then I your guy. I can make broken things work one more time when they are not needed. Big deal. I can make things broken right before they are needed. When I was in high school I read some novel in which the woman admires the hero because he has a habit of throwing his keys over his shoulder and catching them behind his back. I practiced and learned to do it pretty easily. But I never had the confidence to do it casually in front of women. Or anyone really. I'm a hibachi chef. So I've mastered this skill as well. Let me tell you buddy. Nobody gives a damn lol. On the other hand, you've monetized this skill. On the other hand, oh found my keys. I can juggle all kinds of things, including fire and machetes. Fun fact. Juggling machetes are really expensive but real machetes can be much cheaper. Fun extra danger factor. Folding fitted sheets. It seems to amaze people. My girlfriend can do this. She takes one corner and stuffs it into her other hand and then shakes it around until I guess I black out because the next thing I know is it's folded. Recognizing the voices of actors and actresses when they are doing voiceovers. It has never been useful and never will be. I know a cop that could do this. He was away at a conference slash training one time and some absolute prig was monopolizing his time at the bar. Gets back to work. Three weeks later, a detective three doors down the hall was playing a tape from evidence and he goes running down the hall according to witnesses and runs in the room and says who is that. Apparently it was someone they were looking for for some sort of money crime stealing from old ladies type stuff. They were able to send the information to the department where the conference had been and where, apparently, the guy was now living. I can't recognize faces, but I can recognize voices and gate no problem. 
I can make realistic fart sounds with my neck. Not sure if I dominate this skill as I never met a competitor. Duel at Dawn. I'm not sure if anything to date has ever been more deserving of a live stream. May I join? Remembering absolutely useless speep. R.I.P. useless speep. You will be remembered. You slash you sell a speep just in case. You know. Edit. Okay he exists. And the account is pretty useless. You think that it being useless was part of the joke. I wiggle my ears at an Olympic level. Chicks to get. Or so I tell myself. All you need now is a pupil to train. That will follow in your footsteps to conquer your reveal supposing near wiggling dojo. We can make a movie and put it on Netflix. They already pre-approved the script. They've also pre-cancelled after two seasons without a series resolution. Dislocating my joints at will. My illness may be chronic, but my party tricks are iconic. To answer some common things. Yes, I have Ella Danless. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't. And I never know which one it will be that day until it happens. My most mobile joints are my hands and wrists, feet, knee and ribs. I can do any joints if I try, but those are the ones that go rogue and pop out on their own. Rhyming seems like a close second for you. There will be no competition. I'm the only addition. I can bark like a dog surprisingly well. I can do different sizes and pitches to its fun, but very annoying to do at the dog park. There's a community that would be very interested in that skill. Oh no. Bro he meant voice acting. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes of course. I can parallel park so damn good. I remember when I took my driver's test how easy it was. And I stopped being nervous. Ever since then friends or family members I ride with, even if I'm not driving, and they find a parallel parking spot, no matter how snug, but manageable they make me do it. I'm decent at many things, but parallel parking is a skill I have maximumed out for some reason. I can parallel park an 18-wheeler. In two years of trucking, I have never had to parallel park an 18-wheeler. If only you could pull that off, just to shame some peep head that half-assed parked his martyr. I do roll off dumpsters. Imagine parking like an a-hole, and coming back out to a dumpster a few inches from your vehicle, because you parked where the contractor told you not to- <sighs> Cracking my joints. Are you able to crack the joints inside your foot? I can crack my toes and ankles on command. Are there any more in the foot, that I don't know about? <sighs> Making up terrible puns on the spot. One of my co-workers can tell terrible puns on the spot. Quickly as possible. Like a stand-up comedian. You could say he is a grown-up. Thankfully I have a similar sense of humor to him, and that's how we bonded. Oh. I see you work with my husband. He does this at home too. I can name the location of every country in the world on a map. No one cares though. Sporkle cares. That website helped me learn all the countries in Africa. I'm so glad it exists. Enjoying hobbies that are terrible for monetizing. Guilty of this as well. Being confident, but only in my room alone. By the same token, witty comabacks, but only in my room alone. Hours after the argument is over. Pretending that I'm working on my laptop, even when I'm commenting on Reddit. The secret is to look annoyed at all times. Everyone thinks you're swamped. Untangling things. I don't know why, but I can always untangle knots and tangled up necklaces. I only met my mat once with a silver necklace. Edit. Wow so many replies. Thanks for the awards too. I guess I thought it was useless. Since I only really did it for jewelry I never wear anyway but wow. Network technicians. Respect. Me too. My friend got her jewelry over to my place to untangle. Such a random skill to have. In my early 20s, I had a timekeeping talent that I can't explain to this day. 
I could go on without a clock for as long as an hour and a half and guess how much time passed down to the second with only a 5 second error margin. Unfortunately I stopped practicing at some point and eventually completely lost the skill. AWW. That's sad. Can't you gain this superpower again? Or has it lost its way to void forever? Anyone can gain it. To do so someone must send you into the forest and tell you to come back at a precise time down to the minute. If you arrive too early or late, you get sent back in again. Also, if you don't succeed after a predetermined period you must travel west for you have forgotten the face of your father. I can throw a closed fan and catch it open. Good use of my free time. I never did this trick in front of anyone, and I'm not shy. I just know it's useless. I know you mean a folding fan, but I'm just picturing you tossing a box fan into the air, the sides falling off, then you catching it. You know those spatial intelligence tests that ask you to rotate and 3D object in your mind and select the correct image? I get perfect or near perfect scores on those every single time. That's really helpful in organic chemistry, to predict the stereochemistry of reaction. As someone who is terrible at identifying enantiomers I would kill for this power. Winning fake argument scenarios with myself in the shower. I'm pretty good at pen spinning, and it is completely useless. I can open a soda can really f peeping loud. Username checks out. I know the exact amount of time to microwave anything, so that it is the perfectly warmed up. That's useful. Identifying every current nation flag. Plugging in the USB key at first try. I can do the same with the USB-C. My sister hates that I hold this against her, but the first time she tried to charge my laptop. She got confused and tried to plug the USB-C in vertically. Literally taller than the laptop, when you do that. You. They invented a USB you can't plug in the wrong way. Huh. Hold my Cosmo. Picking things up with my toes. Using the bottom drawer without bending over is my calling. Your back will thank you in about 50 years or so. Staying up late when it really would be advisable, if I went to bed at a sensible time. The crane slash claw games. My son's room is filled with stuff as I got from them. Every time I go to laundromat my wife mutters dear god no more. I remember most of my dreams the oldest one I can remember was when I was 5. I'm the best at not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Knife juggling. I'm a pretty great Tetris player. I dominated the high scoreboards for a very long time. Tetris championships are getting pretty popular. You should check them out. I can bite Smarties into a perfect square before eating them. The sugar US Smarties, and not the chocolate Smarties. Throw slippers off my foot and hit anyone. Abula. I can be out quite realistically to a point where I've had people look over to see if there was a cat nearby, but I don't think that's actually a skill. I can lick my elbow and say my alphabet backwards. Why? I have no f peeping idea. Blur the vision of my eyes at will. I can control my laptop's scroll pad with my toe slash feet, so I don't have to sit up to complete simple tasks can even highlight multiple files. Bending my fingers in interesting ways. I can pour exactly 7 pills from a bottle around 70% of the time in under like 2 seconds and, less frequently, I can get 14 or even 21 exactly. I take a lot of medication. I can shoot a ping pong ball from my mouth up to 15 feet with enough precision to hit you on the forehead 8 tenths times. It's a shocking skill that I haven't had an organic opportunity to show off since college. I can also snap a towel so hard the corner tears and is capable of breaking skin. I was home shoaled and have never entered a locker room. I don't know where I learned that. 
spelling. I can spot a spelling error on any page anywhere in just seconds. Nobody cares because they just use spell check, or they just don't give a damn anyway. Writing song parodies. I can press buttons incredibly fast. No one likes to play Mario Party with me. I seem to be great at making people are like angry with me. Being able to burp on command. Anytime someone burps near me, I'll unleash a thunderous belch to show dominance. Drinking lying down. Not completely useless. Opening a butterfly knife like the spy from Team Fortress 2. Knife trick. Getting hurt in everything I do, even if it's getting up from a desk lol. I catch things I drop, and on a good day, I catch things other people drop. For example, at the grocery store a woman knocked a can of soup off a shelf, and I caught it. She about crapped her pants. I can walk without making any noise. It's pretty useless. Except for midnight fridge raids. I can blow spit bubbles off my tongue. I can procrastinate like a champ. Is it a skill? I don't know. I'll check it later. I even wanted to post this comment 10h ago, but couldn't be bothered to 